Who is it? Federal Express. Okay, good. I came back for you. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I missed you. Really? Yeah, you really? seriously. Yeah, 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 me too, miss. I miss. Yeah, <laughs> big. Missing going yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> so then Pachyderm picks up <laughs> the two pieces of pizza. And mind you now, they're burning hot. He can barely hey. hold them. I mean, he's trying to, like, juggle the pizza, you know, I mean, and then, and then they go flying out of his hands, they go flying out of his hands, and one lays on her face, and the other lands on his face. <laughs> I know. Oh, that oh, that is one of the funniest stories I've ever heard. I know. <laughs> well, this has been one hell of a night. Oh, I'm sorry mm. Jerry didn't suggest this sooner. You know, you really are beautiful, Emily. Oh, oh. well. <laughs> Good night. Good night? Well. Come on, Adrian, give me another chance. I know I could cheer Fulton up. I'll tell you what, I'll do my act. No, new material. He's never heard it. He'll love it. I just did it at the Concord last week. It killed. Thank you. Thanks for You will not regret this. Okay, bye. Hey. Hello. So? What? Come on, how was your date? The date. The date. Yeah, how was it? Interesting. Really? Oh, yeah. Why? What happened? Let's see. How shall I put this? Well, just put it. He took it out. <laughs> he what? He took. <gasps> It out. He took what out? It. He took it out? Yes, sir, Bob. He couldn't. He did. Well, you were involved in some sort of amorous... No. You mean he just... Yes. Are you sure? Oh, quite. There was no mistaking it? Jerry. So you were talking, mm -hmm. you're having a pleasant conversation, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden. Yeah. It. It. Out. Out. Well, I, I can't believe this. I know Phil. He, he's a good friend of mine. We play softball together. How could this be? Oh, it be. <laughs> you got any other friends you want to set me up with? Hey. Hey, how was your date with Phil Totola? He took it out. <laughs> well, maybe uh, he needed some air. You know, sometimes they need air. They can't breathe in there. It's inhuman. I'm really looking forward to this. I love weddings. Maybe I'll meet somebody. Maybe not. Oh, man. We're stopping? Oh, this is great. This is what I need, just what I need. Okay, take it easy, I'm sure it's nothing. Probably rats on the track. They're stopping for rats. Oh, God, it's so crowded. How could there be so many people? This guy really smells. Doesn't anyone use deodorant in the city? What is so hard? You take the cap off, you roll it on. What's that? I feel something rubbing against me. It's just Disgusting animals. These people should be in a cage. We are in a cage. What if I miss the wedding? I got the ring. What'd they do? You can't get married without a ring. Oh, I can't breathe. I feel faint. Okay, take it easy. It'll start moving soon. Oh, 
Think about people in concentration camps, what they went through. And the hostages. What would you do if you were a hostage? Think about that. This is nothing. No, it's not nothing. It's something. It's a nightmare. Help me. Move it. Come on, move this thing. Why isn't it moving? What could go wrong with a train? It's on tracks. There's no traffic. How could a train get stuck? Step on the gas. What could it be? You think the conductor would explain it to us? I'm sorry, there's a delay. We'll be moving in five minutes. I want to hear a voice. What's that on my leg? Why couldn't I take a cab? For six dollars, my whole life could have changed. What is that on my leg? I'll never get out of here. What if I'm here for the rest of my life? Maybe I'll get out in five seconds. One banana, two banana, three banana, four banana, five banana. No. I'm still here. Still here. When will they start moving? Move! 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 It's moving! It's moving! Yes! I'm going out tonight with Robert and the boss and his wife. So tonight you're going to make the move? Yeah, I think I might. Hey, there he is. <laughs> so what happened? Could she detect it? It's an interesting question. How so? How so? <laughs> I'll tell you how so. She's bald. <laughs> Mean bald. What do you think I mean, bald? Bald. Bald, bald. <laughs> She's bald. She's bald, Jerry. Oh, come on. Oh, come on? No, come on. She took off her hat, and there she was. Hello! It's like I was looking at myself in a mirror. Well, maybe she got a haircut or something. Hey, you know, let me tell you something. No one walks into a beauty parlor and says, give me the Larry Fine. <laughs> Women go bald? Yeah, I've heard of that. I mean, they usually wear a wig. Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh. You fixed me up with a bald woman. <laughs> bald? Yeah, that's right. Do you see the irony here? You're rejecting somebody because they're bald. So? You're bald! No, I'm not. I was bald. Hey. drive like that. I was going faster than I've ever gone before, and yet it all seemed to be happening in slow motion. I was seeing three and four moves ahead, weaving in and out of lanes like an Olympic skier on a gold medal run. I knew I was challenging the very laws of physics. At Queens Boulevard, I took the shoulder. At Jewel Avenue, I used the median. I had it. I was there. And then, I hit the Van Wick. <laughs> they say no one's ever beaten the Van Wick. But gentlemen, I tell you this. I came as close as anyone ever has. <laughs> and if it hadn't been for that five-car pile-up <laughs> on Rockaway Boulevard, <laughs> that numbskull would be on a plane for Seattle right now instead of looking for parking space downstairs. <laughs> the bus boy's coming. Peggy, we've got to talk. What is it about me that you find so offensive? 
You seem to be with a lot of men. What? I happen to have a very steady boyfriend. <laughs> you know, I mean, we broke up a few times and there has been an occasional guy here or there, but I'm, what, why is this your business? It's not. Good day. Oh, all right. You think I've got germs? I'll give you some germs. How about some for your keyboard, huh? How about that? Oh, how about for your stapler? Hmm? That's good, isn't it? You have a happy and a healthy. <coughs> Adam, Jerry and Elena are here. Oh, it's a cute little snuggly baby. Isn't he gorgeous? Gorgeous. Yes. So very gorgeous. Michael, shut the door. You're letting bugs in. <laughs> Is it me or was that the ugliest baby you have ever seen? Oh, I couldn't look. It was like a Pekingese. Boy, a little too much chlorine in that gene pool. And you know, the thing is, they'll never know. No one's ever going to tell them. Oh, you have to lie. Oh, it's a must-lie situation. Yes, it's a must-lie situation. Well, this point, Mitch should do it. How are you feeling, Adam? Elaine, this is our pediatrician, Ben Pfeffer. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Look at him, Elaine. How gorgeous is he? I ask you, how gorgeous? Dear gorgeous. <laughs> Elaine, do you have children? Me? Oh, no, but I mean, I'd love to have a baby. I mean, I can't wait to have a baby. I'm just dying to have a baby. <laughs> a beautiful woman like you should. You're quite breathtaking. Breathtaking? <laughs> I'm breathtaking. <laughs> and he's very particular. Ben, mm -hmm. you're staying over tonight, right? Uh, sure. Uh, I, uh, I'm gonna go uh, pick up Rachel at the station. Yeah, see ya. Okay. Oh, just look at him. Yeah, he really is breathtaking. Nobody ever called me breathtaking before. Well, I've never been called breathtaking either. I mean, if he thinks that that baby is breathtaking, then who's not breathtaking? Well, maybe he just said it because the mother was in the room. Yeah, right, that's a possibility. I have to find out. How are you gonna do that? I can be very clever. Some night, huh? Yeah, I wish I had my telescope. Some dinner, huh? Yeah, nothing like really fresh caught lobster. Some house, huh? It was built by Mark Farbman. He built a lot of these homes here. Some ugly baby, huh? <laughs> what did you say? I said, uh, some snuggly baby. <laughs> <laughs> he is something, huh? Well, to tell you the truth, Dr. Pfeffer, I was... I was surprised to hear you use a word like breathtaking to describe a baby. I mean, because you also used it referring to me. Well, you know, Elaine, sometimes you say a thing like that just to be nice. George, thanks so much for making breakfast. George, these are the best scrambled eggs I've ever tasted. I didn't know you could cook. Well, I'm just expressing my gratitude to our gracious host. Yes, George, the whole breakfast is breathtaking. <laughs> well, and they forgot to deliver your paper today. Why don't you uh, just grab that one? But that belongs to Mr. Potato Guy. That's his. Come on, I get it. <laughs> well, if you want it, you get it. Sorry. Thou shalt not steal. Oh, but 
but it's okay for me. Oh, what do you care? You know where you're going. <laughs> All right, that is it. I can't live like this. Oh, no. Come on. All right, what did I do? David, I'm going to hell. The worst place in the world. With devils and those, those caves and, and the ragged clothing. And the heat, my God, the heat. And what do you think about all that? It's gonna be rough. <laughs> you should be trying to save me. Don't boss me. This is why you're going to hell. I am not going to hell. And if you think I'm going to hell, you should care that I'm going to hell, even though I am not. You stole my Jesus fish, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Not good. Listen to these symptoms for rabies. Anxiety, irritability. I've got those. I'm irritable. Who picked these out? I did. They're ladies' glasses. I mean, all you need is that little chain around your neck so you can wear them while you're playing canasta. Well, Elaine was supposed to help me. Hey! I got bit by a dog! I had to go to the hospital! I was bleeding to death! I can't solve every little problem you have! Sorry. Sorry. I... I think I'm... I'm having trouble swallowing. Yeah. I, I, I can't swallow. Yeah, she's got rabies, just like my friend Bob Sacamano. Look at that, she's delirious. She's foaming at the mouth! Slaney. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Kevin. Oh. oh! Come on in. Okay. Hi, Jean. <laughs> What's up? Just reading. Hey, what are you doing? Eating olives. Ever hear of asking? <laughs> Who is it? Feldman. From across the hall. Hold on. <laughs> hey, Kevin. Hi. Look who I ran into. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Vargas. <laughs> <laughs> Ball game this weekend? Great. Okay, great! I'll see you later. Okay. Vargas. Well, I got him. All right. Hey, Lane. Feldman was able to get us all tickets to the Bolshoi. <gasps> or throw center. Get out! <laughs> What's the matter with you? Kevin, I'm so sorry. Is there anything I can do? Haven't you done enough already? <laughs> Thanks for coming to pick me up. I can explain everything. All right, well, we'll talk about it tomorrow at the office. Okay, where's my boy? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sitting at home reading a periodical, and this is the call I get. My son is a bootlegger. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Who put you up to this? Was it her? All right, wait a minute. I think you've got it backwards. My George isn't clever enough to hatch a scheme like this. You got that right. What the hell does that mean? That means whatever the hell you want it to mean. You saying you want a piece of me? I could drop you like a bag of dirt. You want a piece of me? You got it! <laughs>